Hi, I'm Teresa McConnell, and I'd like to share with you a little bit of the artwork that my father has created over the past 50 years uh, for the benefit of the community and to preserve our local history. Dad uh, has lived most of his life, his 93 years, in the Creston area. From the time he was very young, my grandparents recognized that he had natural artistic ability. They enrolled him in the Mount Aloysius Academy, where he studied under Sister Margaret Mary for about a year. During his high school years, he sketched for the school papers. And then during World War II in Europe, when he had free time, he liked to continue with his sketching. His artwork is very versatile. He can pretty much do any medium <laughs> that he sets his mind to. When he returned from the service in, in Europe, he and my mother lived in the Lemon House, which is a historic house in the area. That's where his interest developed in local history. In 1964, the National Park Service established the Allegheny Portage Railroad Historic Park. He decided on his own to, to build a model of the incline and how it worked. The Park Service really liked it and they put it on display. And I guess Dad's, you know, interest really took off in modeling. Dad had an interest in, in the old resort hotel that used to exist in Crescent. It had a rather romantic history. It catered mainly to the industrialists who came every summer. He decided to, to build a model of it. He studied uh, floor plans. He had old photographs. It's on uh, display at the Mount Aloysius Campus Library. There was a crisis in the early 20th century. Tuberculosis was spreading, and I think over 11,000 people in Pennsylvania alone were victims. So the state erected a, a sanatorium at Crescent. Dad was asked at 88 years of age uh, to build a model of this sanatorium for the 100th anniversary celebration that was coming up. There were no blueprints, and it was such a huge facility that it took a lot of research before he could even begin drawing the designs. And it was pretty amazing. You know, you can see uh, evidence of Dad's work all throughout the community. Prints of his paintings are hanging the walls locally and across the country. He's happiest when he's doing what he loves to do. And he, and he loves that people benefit from it and enjoy it also. He obviously cares very much about this community and his interest, I think, is in preserving it for future generations as well. Despite all this, he's a very humble man. He'd be the first to tell you he's a jack of all trades and a master of none. But we've seen over the years the master at work. His ability is amazing. And the time that he has put into these projects, it all says a lot about the man.